You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, let's play a game. Who is trashing Aaron Rodgers' nets? Because everybody out there in the media, the woke sports media, woke athletes, woke foreign athletes are trashing this man left and right. Aaron Rodgers is getting media coverage like we have never seen before. Every second you turn on the TV to some kind of sports channel, you look on the Internet, Aaron Rodgers is front page news because there is a new former athlete out there every second or somebody in the media trashing this man. Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp, they did it, they did it this morning on, on Undisputed. And uh, Shannon Sharp uh, started talking about the lie once again that Aaron Rodgers was taking a dewormer. I'll leave it at that. We know that is 100% a lie. Skip Bayless tried to fact check him on this also as well. Skip Bayless was spreading medical misinformation. I'll leave it at that. Okay. But now we're going to be talking about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar because Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has weighed in now and come out and ripped Aaron Rodgers in a hit piece. But at the same time, he brought in Colin Kaepernick into this. And lay praise on him. Colin Kaepernick has nothing to do with this. So I don't know how he actually got Colin Kaepernick into this, but I guess he had to get his two cent in on Kaepernick and praise him. A man that has done absolutely nothing for any black people at all. But let's go ahead. Let's dive into this, guys. NBA legend Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Aaron Rodgers damaged professional sports with Vats comments. Wow. Aaron Rodgers created a firestorm with his comments on his COVID vaccination stance. Ladies and gentlemen, his vaccine stance. If he got the jab or not, that is nobody's business except for Aaron Rodgers. He doesn't know, owe anybody an explanation about his jab status. He doesn't. But let's read this. And before we do, by the way, we're not doctors. We're not giving you medical advice. I got to cover all this here for you for YouTube. OK, so just keep that in mind. Check with your own medical prof professional. If you have any questions about the virus or the vaccine, but let's go ahead. Let's read this NBA legend. Kareem Dujabar teed off on Aaron Rodgers in a column Monday after the Green Bay Packers star explained his decision to forego the coronavirus vaccine. The Los Angeles Lakers superstar who finished his NBA career as a 19 time all star, six time NBA champion and the all time leader in points scored wrote in his sub stack. That Rogers, quote, damaged professional sports when he went into great detail about his vaccination stance. I don't know how he uh, damaged professional sports. OK, sports is still going on. And we know that uh, Aaron Rodgers didn't get the jab. But I digress. Abdul Jabbar took Rogers to task for slyly telling reporters in August he was immunized and consulting Joe Rogan on COVID treatments. Now. That reporter who asked Aaron Rodgers whether he got the jab or not should not have been doing that. His jab status, that is nobody's business. Anybody to ask anybody about their jab status, that's just wrong. That's just wrong. I would never ask anybody about their jab status. Now, if they want to tell me, you know, that's one thing if they want to tell me. But I'm not going to ask anybody about their jab status. But this is what Kareem said. Quote, instead of consulting immunologists, he consulted anti-vaxxer and podcast host Joe Rogan, who also contracted the virus. Now, folks, we don't know if Joe Rogan got the jab or not. We do not know. I don't believe Joe Rogan's actually even said that. OK, keep that in mind. If he ever inquired, if he ever requires open heart surgery, will he hand the scalpel to romance writers because they know about matters of the heart? While many who came in contact with him, thought he was vaccinated. Rogers had embarked on his own regimen to boost his natural immunity. He failed, as any scientist could have told him. And as they have been publicly telling us for over a year, he he wrote. OK, let's get back to this. OK. Aaron Rodgers consulted with Joe Rogan. Friends, I'm pretty sure, you know, if you had a similar medical situation as a friend. And you say, I'm pretty sure Aaron Rodgers did this. Hey, you no, know Joe Rogan had this. Let me talk to Joe Rogan. Maybe he can refer me to a doctor. 
because, ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Rodgers got the kitchen sink just like Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan didn't prescribe anything to Aaron Rodgers. Everything that Aaron Rodgers got, he got it from a doctor, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Everything that he got, because what he took, you can't just go over the counter and take that. OK, you can't. You have to go to a doctor and they have to refer you on any kind of treatment or any kind of medication. But you know what? The world sports media, you know, doesn't want doesn't want you to know that. OK, you can't just walk around and say, you know what? Let me go and grab this and I'll just take it and I'll be fine. No, what he took, he got from a doctor. Same thing with Tim Pool. OK, he just asked Joe Rogan, hey, do you probably know any doctors? That's probably it, because Joe Rogan can't prescribe anything. OK, he wrote that Roger statements on the Pat McAfee show are bringing back to life the old stereotype of the bit done jock and to sell some of the complaints the quarterback had about wearing a mask while talking to the media and saying that he was allergic to an ingredient in the mRNA vaccines, though offering nothing beyond those words. Yeah, because, you know, that's his own body, his own allergens, whatever. He doesn't need to disclose that to anybody, okay? He doesn't. Nobody has to know Aaron Rodgers' full medical history. You just don't. And that's the clip right there. Go check it out. Full interview with uh, Pat McAfee on his show. But Kareem goes on, quote, Rodgers complained that the cancel culture was coming for him, but his own words cancel him as a liar and bad thinker. If he had a principled objection to the vaccine, he could have chosen not to play like Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving did not choose not to play. His team left him hanging. The NBA, Kareem Dujabar, you probably should know this. There is no jab mandate in the NBA. In New York City, they do. But his team violated the rule and they won't let him play in any game whatsoever. A clear violation of the agreement with the NBA PA and the NBA. But I digress. Kareem doesn't know what he's talking about. But he goes on. What really sat his whining stance was his refusal to wear a mask during interviews to protect others from sickness and death. The Hall of Famer wrote, I can go into a whole bunch of other stuff about masks. Check out blackandwhitenetwork.com for that. I'm not going to mention it here because we're on YouTube, okay? Not trying to give any medical advice, all right? But he goes on, quote, that was merely his hubris and arrogance against what he called the woke mom. And it's in this case, Woke means compassion and responsibility towards others. He might also remember that the only reason he is able to play in front of crowds again is because all those suckers got vaccinated. Well, guess what, Kareem? Kareem is wrong again. Wrong again, because guess what? In Texas, we don't have any jab mandates. None. If you want to go to sporting events, you can just go. We don't have any vaccine passports because they are illegal in the state of Texas. It's not happening. But, but of course, you know, in the People's Republic of California and the People's Republic of New York, that's happening. And I do believe that Kareem lives in the People's Republic of California. Not sure about Wisconsin. Uh, Green Bay plays outside anyway. Wrapping up his column, Abdul-Jabbar invoked Colin Kaepernick. Oh, my goodness. Quote, I can't help but think of Colin Kaepernick, who was blacklisted by the NFL for passively expressing his frustration with systemic racism, a brave act meant, meant to help his community and save lives. While multimillionaire Rogers will continue to play despite lying to the fans and his teammates and putting innocent lives in danger, he wrote. Time will tell whether Rogers will be judged by the content of his character or the strength of his throwing arm. I don't know what Kaepernick has to do with this, okay? Now, Kaepernick is not in the NFL by his own doing. Colin Kaepernick does not want to play. I've said it time and time again. Kaepernick has gotten multiple opportunities by the NFL to attempt to come back. But he plays the victim. And by the way, uh, Kareem, Colin Kaepernick ain't hurting for money. He's a millionaire just like Aaron Rodgers. Kaepernick is getting money from Nike. Kaepernick is getting money from uh, Netflix. He has that show out there. Kaepernick ain't doing this stuff for free, but Kaepernick also ain't doing nothing for anybody. And Dez Bryant called him out on that. Colin Kaepernick is a grifter. Rogers missed Sunday's game against the Kansas City Chiefs because of a positive test. 
meant the unvaccinated quarterback was forced to miss 10 days. He claimed some of the NFL rules were not rooted in science. He also claimed an NFL doctor told him, quote, it's impossible for a vaccinated person to get uh, COVID or spread COVID, close quote. That's his words, not mine. And we already know that um, if you got the jab, you can spread the virus. That's facts. That's the science. OK, but here's the thing. This is another thing that I believe that cream and people in the world source media are missing here. Whether he got the jab or not, let's say he tested positive on Friday and he actually was vaccinated. Guess what? He still would have missed the game because for vaccinated players, you have to miss five days for unvaxed players. You need to miss 10 days. So it's just a timing thing with uh, players that actually got the jab. So even if he got the jab and he still tested positive on a Friday, for example, just throwing it out there, he still would have missed his game. And he had the virus. But anyway, quote, no doctor from the league or the joint NFL, NFL, PA infectious disease consultants, consultants communicated with the player. If they had, they certainly would have never said anything like that. The NFL spokesman told pro football talk. So there you have it. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar trashing Aaron Rodgers, praising Colin Kaepernick, who has nothing to do with this. I don't know Kaepernick's jab status. I can take a guess and it may not be what Kareem Abdul-Jabbar actually thinks, but I digress. I'm not even going to speculate. Okay. But what do you guys think of this? What do you guys think of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar trashing Colin Colin, not Colin Kaepernick, but uh, Aaron Rodgers heaping praise on Colin Kaepernick. This is completely ridiculous, folks. Kareem, I've lost a lot of respect for this guy. I really, really have. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.